Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So this is my number one go-to whenever I need to speed up my device, mainly because this app tells me which apps are running in the background. It also gives me an option directly to the right-hand side to force stop these items. If they are running in the background, all I have to do is click on force stop. It then takes me to the option to force stop. Once again, I click my back button and then that's it. That app is closed down. It's no longer taking up resources on my device and I can proceed with streaming my content. So I did open up a second app. This is background apps process list. It gives you an idea also which apps are running in the background on your Amazon Fire Stick taking up resources. But this isn't as user friendly or appealing, but it does get the job done. All you have to do is hover over the icon, click on the icon, and then it opens up an additional menu where you can force stop and then you can do the same thing. Click your back button and then it goes back to tell you which apps are running in the back. So let me highlight one good point. So, so just in case, if you're like me, I used to think that if you restarted your device, that meant all of these apps would close and then you're kind of restarting a new, almost like a mobile phone or any other device that you turn off. You think it physically gives itself a restart and the apps are refreshed and all closed again. But let me tell you on the Amazon Fire Stick, it's not like that. And I can show you this. Let me restart my device really quick. All right, so I'm back on the home screen on the Amazon Fire Stick, and if you recall the apps that were running in the background before, let's go ahead and open up DevSquid, and I'll go ahead and show you and do a comparison. So I'm hovered over Manage Apps once again. On the left-hand side, it shows me the list once again of all the apps that are running in the background, and as you can see, they still say Force Stop directly to the right of them, which means they're running in the background. So all of these apps even if i restart my device even if i unplug my device from the wall once you load it back up these apps are still running in the background so you want to make sure that you come in here at least daily to force stop these items otherwise they're running in the background taking up resources and potentially causing you uh, a headache because you're dealing with buffering or apps that are just freezing or crashing down once again background apps process list and death squid are the only apps that you need for a one-click option to force stop these apps and i'll go ahead and show you how to download these apps and where to find them and how to get them on the amazon fire stick and once again let me just give you a quick test run on how these work so let's say if I wanted to force stop plex I just click on force stop and then you click on force stop and then all you have to do is click the back button one time and then it goes back to the list to force stop additional apps it's very straightforward same thing with background process list all right so let's go ahead and show you how to get these apps installed you just go over to the find section to the right hand side go down to search click on search and then you want to type in here the first app is Def Squid. It's the most user friendly and it should be the second search result. You click on Def Squid. You want to click on this option and then you'll see here Def Squid. It's a free and easy use Android optimizer. So you click on download and then you'll just give that a moment to load and you can also click your back button while that's loading. Click your back button again and then we'll go ahead and type in here background apps and process list. Although you don't need both, it's just optional for whichever version is more user friendly to you. All right, so I typed in background apps process list. Let's go ahead and click on that second search result and then in here it says background apps and process list and you want to click on that first option and then you'll download this app and you'll play with both and you'll see which app is going to be more suitable for you and then you can uninstall the one version that you're not going to use daily but you only need one but i wanted to make sure i showed you both options all right so we have both of those apps installed on our device we just make our way over to the right hand side go down to my apps click on my apps and then you'll see those two apps in your apps list at the very bottom one is Def Squid, the other one is Background Apps Process List. Once again, I'll open up Def Squid because it's the most user-friendly one. So what I'll go ahead and do to finish this video off, we'll go ahead and go down the list in any app that is running. We want to go ahead and force stop it so it's no longer running in the background. All right, so as you can see here, I'll go through the list. I have force stopped every single app that was running in the background. Our device should be running smooth, and I hope this video was helpful. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.